Before I get started with this commentary, I have to give a shout out to Chris Miller, aka Black Up Inya, for doing a video about this. And I'm gonna leave the link to his video down in the dis uh, the description. When I watched this video, I was so pissed the fuck off for a number of reasons. But first, let me address what's actually happening in this picture. Because I'm not going to play the video over here. I'm going to leave the link to his video as well as the link to this video in the description. So you have this ultra fema cunt by the name of Anna. And I can't pronounce her last name. But it begins with a D. But it should stand for ditzy bitch. Because that's exactly what the fuck she is or a dingbat. Because there is this quote unquote epidemic. They're calling it an epidemic of something called man spreading. Now, some of you may have heard about that term. It happened a few years ago and they made a big deal about it in New York, I believe it was, on, on subways. Basically, it's a lot of these FEMA Nazis, mostly the white women, because I haven't seen any other feminists of any other race complain about this except them. Where a man is sitting on mostly, most likely a train or any type of public transportation, but most likely a train because of how the seats are adjusted, where they sit and they have their legs um, kind of like open, which is common nature for how a man is going to sit because we as men are working with a bit of extra equipment down there. So it'll be uncomfortable if we're sitting with our legs tightly together or legs crossed. It'll make it very uncomfortable down there. So we have to sit with our legs kind of open, whereas a woman can sit, has to sit with her legs closed or she crosses her legs, especially if she has a skirt on. Now, this bitch got so upset with the man spreading thing that she took it upon herself to do a quote unquote social experiment or whatever kind of experiment that she claims that it is. And this happened in Russia, by the way, because let me just tell you what I'm about to tell you what happened would not fly here in the States on in any metropolitan area. This woman took a water bottle that had a combination of water and bleach in it. It went to any man that she saw sitting with his legs open and just poured the solution onto into his uh, crotch area. Now, this is considered assault on many levels. And then on top of that, she used water and bleach Bleach is a chemical. Not only will it ruin your clothes if it's not of white material, but it can get through clothes and probably do some damage down there because it's a fucking chemical. But of course, this bitch doesn't care about that. All she wants to do is, quote unquote, prove a so-called point about man spreading being offensive to women. That is so, I, th this is exactly why I cannot take these so-called feminists, especially these white ones, seriously whatsoever. And if you want to think that's bad, this bitch went another step further and later on in the video, and you'll see it, she got upset at men again for doing something called upskirting, which is the act of men taking lewd pictures of women unsuspected with their phones. So you want to know how she combated that? She stood in the middle of the train station with a skirt on and proceeded to lift her skirt up because she had something on underneath. She proceeded to lift her skirt up and expose these black, I guess, underwear that she had on. So people or so men would not have to be around her or something like that. It was so, it was so dumb. It was very dumb. That's why, that's why I said I cannot take these feminists serious. If this happened in the States, she would have not made it past the first person she did this to. And yes, like I said, this is considered a assault with a chemical. Bleach is a chemical. Bleach should only be used for your clothes or for some people, if they're dying their hair, because I know it's bleach in that. Unfortunately, you have skin bleaching creams. We all know what bleach does. It makes stuff lighter, very, very light, especially if it gets on something dark. And as you can see, this man right here has on black 
pant, what appears to be black pants or, or some dark colored pants. With enough bleach, he's going to have bleach spots on those pants. And those bleach spots are permanent. But like I said, if it, get, if it was to get through his clothes and got into his private area, who knows what she could have done to that because bleach at the end of the day is a chemical. No man or anybody washes themselves with bleach. Like I said, the only thing that's washed with bleach are clothes, mostly, mainly, or it should be your white colored clothes because those cannot stain. It'll get the stains out. But that's all I really wanted to say as it pertains to this. Like I said, I'm going to leave the link to this video and to Chris Miller's video down in the description. You can watch it for yourself to see how dumb this bitch is. And you can go and watch his and we pretty much on the same wavelength, wavelength with this shit. All I'm going to say is this. Word to the wise, to the women, uh, to the so-called feminists here in the, in the establishment. Don't you dare try no dumb shit like this. Because if you do, you will be asking for it. It was a matter of fact, it was one woman in the video. And you'll see it. When she did it to the guy that was sitting next to her, that woman looked at her like, what is this bitch doing? Is she dumb? And if you and in this picture right here, you can actually see if, um, if I had to move it over, you can see it's the woman sitting on the opposite side of her or right behind her. And she's looking up. I guess she's looking at the camera person like, what the hell is going on? Like, you can go about this a whole bunch of other ways other than going around pouring water and bleach on people that you don't know. And I think someone said one of the guys in the video was sleep. And now he got to wake up and find he got something on his pants. Like, what if this, what, and the thing is, they didn't know what this was. For all we know, this shit could have been acid. Could you imagine she poured acid on their shit? I'm going to stop right there. Y'all pretty much get the gist of it. Y'all let me know what you think down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. I'll talk to you in the next one.